If you're selling hot and trendy designer jeans, do not have your advertising campaign air on the side of caution. Take out a million dollar magazine spread of sexy black and white photos and throw caution to the winds. Today's Inside Story has the lowdown on high dollar ads. I don't want to offend people, but, but I, I believe in taking risks. But some think Calvin Klein has gone too far. The controversy is over a 116-page advertising supplement that accompanies the October issue of Vanity Fair. The glossy black and white photos are meant to tell the story of the onstage and offstage antics of a fictional rock band. They do everything in and out of their Calvin Klein jeans, creating what Klein says is the right image for his product. I believe very strongly in the image and the attitude uh, than just boring photographs. I think you really have to do something that, uh, that, that's special and unique and, and that gets attention. But nude men and women, sexual situations, hints of homosexuality, and a shot of a man using a urinal have led some to charge that the ads are simply not about genes. Kevin Beatty is president of Morality and Media. They are pushing the boundaries and have come to the conclusion that not only does sex sell, but that decadence sells. This is not the first time Klein's advertising has created a stir. His reputation for provocative ads began when a then 15-year-old Brooke Shields uttered this immortal line in 1980. You want to know what comes between me and my Calvins? Nothing. Over the past decade, Klein's ads for underwear, clothing, and perfume have continued to generate publicity. Escape. Calvin Klein. Like Klein, Benetton, Donna Karen, and Guest Jean seem to be stressing their image over their products, but Pat Sloan from Advertising Age says nobody's taking it as far as Calvin Klein. He's definitely pushed the outer edges of the envelope. I mean, what can he do for an encore? There's not much left. And I think if he goes any further, he definitely will offend people. Because of the controversial photographs, the advertising supplement was only included in the magazines sold in Los Angeles and New York City.